All right, today it's gonna be a little bit different because we will be doing pretty much everything with our hand tracking system here. Uh, I've not tried hand tracking like a long time because uh, I tried once it released as a beta feature on the quest. Now it's gonna be like the second time of uh, you know trying it out. It seems like it's like working much smoother. So like they really like upgraded it so that's fun shit <laughs> i'm not really like very like pro at the movement but today we'll be trying out hand physics lab which is like basically um uh, what was the game like this oh physics playground but this is gonna be for hand tracking also so and it is pr pretty much from indie company also they developed seems like a really advanced hand tracking simulator and okay recent review move to the center of your plate plane and press recent review oh, so that's the same ah, okay like that wait like okay welcome for the best hand tracking conditions have enough light in the room yes that's always with quest uh keep your hands inside avoid touching hand Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, so, ah, because it's like, whoa, <laughs> ah, yeah, because when you like, you know, you can't really have your hands close, like, you know, close into with hand tracking because it's like disappears. Seems like it kind of like simulated my bone system and like things. This is the experimental project currently in early alpha stage. Yeah, I know. Quality? Yes. Tracking conditions. In a flight, have fun! Yay! Okay, hello, Nadic. I'm not familiar with the company, but okay. So what do we have here? Let's see. A slicing is really like weird because like basically it slices your hand. Hand slicer. Yeah. Turn on the laser with the button on the right. Do not touch it. What do you mean? Do not touch it. That's the point, right? Yep. <laughs> Let's just do this, some basics. Grabbing. So, okay. Like, I assume I just close by and just like, kinda close my hand when I want to pick up something. Okay. So it's kinda like, okay, give me a weapon, that's my thing. No, not kill myself, Jesus. Ah, okay. Yeah, is just you know it depends on the quest tracking system right now uh, it's fully with physics so it's like hand tracking oh geez I'm gonna cut myself it's fully dependent on the physics of the game and on top of that hand hand tracking so of course it's not gonna be like you know advanced um, And you can't really, you know, fuck, you can't really have everything with a fast movement, right? Whoa, <laughs> it's like, of course it's not like stable mo movement with your hands, because this is just like, you know, early, fuck, early stages of it. Uh, but it's currently like impressive what we can do so far. How long was hand tracking? A couple months, like on the December I think it released? I'm not sure. So like, you know, it's kind of like, it will be a good, like, simulating system if you don't like the controllers. I kind of like, and from the gaming, you know, standpoint, I don't think I will ever play with my hands instead of controllers, other than, I guess, I don't know, like, casting spells with your hands or something. Yeah. Uh, because it's just m more convenient. Ah, it's like spawning things and grab it. Okay, sure. <laughs> Egg painting. Is so. No, that was typing. Okay. Ah, suck my sure. <laughs> Fighting. Uh, yeah, like you know, even certain like 
twists, it's hard because the quest doesn't track it properly. I seem to have a lot of problems now with the lightning, I guess. I'm assuming it's purely because of my lightning. I mean, it's pretty lit here, but you know, I guess not enough. But it's like a cool feature, nonetheless, you know, even though we're in the early stages of it. It's gonna develop even more. <coughs> but like, I don't think in the 2020 or whatever, we won't have like a full-fledged game based on hand tracking. I feel like it's still a gimmick because it's so early. What's this useless machine? Oh my god, I love this because this is a really fun concept. I actually went to college with programming stuff like that. Give me this. <laughs> and turn it. Shit. God damn it. <laughs> eh. ah! Oh, great. It's just this annoying thingy that, uh, yeah, have to press the button. Do not push. <laughs> okay. Uh, it doesn't seem to have other, you know, functions. It's like, usually with these things, it's kind of like, it um, presses the button, for example, slowly or fast or two times, or I don't know, just like, you know, yeah, see, two times, or just like, just opens, doesn't press, close, and then open and fastly close. What do we have more? Puppet status access, safety gravity. Ah no, that's just options. Yeah, oh. It even simulates my arms. Even though it doesn't track my arms, just my hands, it's kinda like it bases. Telekinesis. So like Jedi shit. Ah, okay. Safety access status. What's oh, access it's the directions. Okay. So maybe give me force push. God damn it. <laughs> ah, make a fist shape, join it by force fit and move to open your hand and force push. It's still, the tracking is just like, you know, early, so it's really hard to control it. Okay, great. And right one. <laughs> I feel like, you know, because we have Vader Immortal and it's already like, kinda a staple in Quest uh, library. For people who are newcomers also, this is pretty much the ideal um, game to play because it's really easy and like enjoyable. Um, if Vader Immortal would have like hand tracking, it would be also cool. I mean, because the game is not like, you know, it's not really fast paced and it's not really... Fuck. <laughs> it's not really hard and you can't really like die technically um, I feel like they should develop like hand tracking feature just because it's just like I feel ad an additional selling point for the console that's just my thoughts <laughs> and I'm giving ideas for free okay I mean I guess that will, is pretty much it like I don't think there's like much to play with because I'm not creative at all <laughs> <laughs> in those oh Jesus go back to full obsession but then just buy bye bye okay well I uh... thank you and yeah 
I mean, it's just a demo, so it's not like if we have a storyline here, it's pretty much that and, you know, the game seems great, I mean, obviously for an indie thing, it's great. Obviously the hand tracking is not still perfect, it's like far from perfect, but it's good enough for now, I feel like, so we'll see how overall the hand tracking will develop. It pretty much kind of depends on the camera system. I feel like maybe because there are rumors about a new headset that will be uh, announced on OC7, who knows if it's gonna be primarily for hand tracking or like eye tracking or like anything at all. We'll see, but like the technology is here, it's not perfect, but at least it's here, <laughs> so that's fun. <laughs>